This is Twit. So if you haven't heard about Stanford AI for All program, then you should go check it out, aiforall.stanford.edu. It's an education program for high school students designed to introduce them to artificial intelligence and to spark those interests in the AI and, of course, of course, making sure that they introduce them to role models in the AI world. Students will get basically get hands-on experience with robotics projects alongside peers and AI grad students alike. They also use AI demos and learn about different career paths in the AI world. So there was actually a great story here about uh, a, a girl by the name of Stephanie Tena, and she's a 16-year-old programmer who was actually searching the internet for coding programs and found the organization AI for All. And after she applied, she actually got a full scholarship here. And, and of course, you know, I'm not sure you heard, but artificial intelligence is a major driver and in what we call the fourth industrial revolution here. And if you think about it, all the major tech companies, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft alike, are realigning around this thing. So I guess we're saying this is time to kind of bring this to the masses. It's trying to it's essentially time to educate people on what AI is and showing them the advantages. But the fact here is, in the world of increasingly driven by the fact that there's everything's algorithms, people like Stephanie, it's kind of daunting to them to kind of come to this, this industry and understand what AI really is. Now, there's all the other things, kind of lower level things here. Like, for instance, there's coding camps, like Carly Kloss's has coding camps for gals who uh, basically two-week free free class that allows you to go and apply some of your knowledge and learn some new things. It's free. Uh, you can learn with Swift and Ruby and JavaScript and all these things. But again, it's not AI. So this is interesting. I think, you know, I want to throw it over to you first, Project. I think, are we saying that the, what they're trying to do is trying to bring AI to the masses? But AI and machine learning, these things are very complex things. I mean, they're not, they're, maybe you can be, um, you know, you can essentially learn the top level components. You can be an enthusiast here, but you know, trying to bring these things to, to to the youngsters. Is this something that we should be doing now? I mean, is it is it a way to get things to the masses and, and maybe advance technology sooner? Uh, yeah, so I, I can answer this by um, describing Maker Fair here in the Bay Area. We just had it two weeks ago, and Google actually had a tent there that was nothing but AI. And they were showing off AI products, and they were showing off AI projects that people could do with existing modules. Now, when we say AI, we're, we're thinking of ultra-advanced machine learning, deep neural learning, but that's not necessarily how you teach it. They're teaching it like the old code modules. So this is the module that will decide X. This is the module that will decide Y. We can combine them and get Z. That's the kind of teaching that we're going to be doing with AI. Not necessarily teaching them how the AI is created, but teaching them how to combine different AI modules to take input and turn it into desired output. Now, that's fine. I, I love that, even if it's not AI. It could just be standard coding because it teaches people the logical progression of problem solving. Now, what this will do is when you find those students who show great aptitude in combining the modules, maybe you start showing them, okay, well, here's the code under the hood of those modules. Can you help improve it? Uh, so, so what I see this is, is not as, okay, now we're indoctrinating all of our kids with AI learning. We're just showing them how it works and perhaps we're giving them a leg up on using it in a future application. And then if they're good enough, they may be they're the ones who will write the code blocks for the next generation. So I like it, I, I, th I think it's good. Uh, it's not a cure-all. It doesn't mean that we will have a great AI advancement, but it does mean that people can start to demystify what AI actually means. Right, right. And I, I, I do agree. I think it, AI is definitely going to make an impact on society. So I think there's a key here, though, is it seems like it's targeted at young women, young young, young professional women. Um, uh, you know, I think the interesting thing is, is this maybe a, a way to uh, kind of bridge the gender gap here, bring the latest and greatest technology that the market's asking for uh, to, to actually help bridge the gender gap. I'll, you know, I'm going to throw it over to you, Curtis. Is this something that will help? Is this something that will hopefully bring interesting things uh, to allow a more diversity in the workplace and, again, bring the latest technology to that group? Well, first of all, I, I think it's wonderful. Anytime we can bring a group that, that is underrepresented uh, in technology into the field because I think that we have seen in study after study that the solutions that we generate are better uh, in objective, measurable ways 
if the team putting them together is more diverse. Just having the the collection of thought from different experiences tends to lead to to better results, and I think that's a wonderful thing. I also think it's great that we are bringing more young women into the technology field. You know, it, it's interesting. We've got this effort. Uh, Girl Scouts are doing a great deal around programming and technology. I think, you know, you, you have a wave of different programs that are designed to do precisely this. And, and I think it's a very, very good thing. Um, I'm with Padre. I think that the real benefit to this is not necessarily that it might help us make a, a very rapid major leap in artificial intelligence, but that we're much more likely to see creative uses of artificial intelligence techniques. Um, and beyond that, much more creative applications of programming and coding and technology because of the greater diversity of people who are putting their hands on it. And I see nothing but good resulting from all of that.